and the rest 85% is taken by mortgage lender and mortgage brokers. In US, there's roughly 20,000 business entities, and most of them are small to medium-sized businesses. Despite of the technology advance in the fintech industry, the mortgage industry is far behind on technology innovation and optimizations that represents the current era. When you're applying for a mortgage, you're working with a loan officer. But what's behind is they are processors, they are underwriters, they are closers, and they are secondary, secondary market coordinators. These are the reasons why taking, uh, getting a mortgage is time consuming, expensive, and labor intensive. Freddie Mac recently put a survey among 200 mortgage executives from the lending space. For most lenders, they put digital technology as their top priority to keep their company in a market competitiveness and to reduce their operation costs and uh, shorten the low closing time. So today, I'm going to show you three user cases about how digital technology can change mortgage industry and how digital technology can make mortgage industry to achieve next level efficiency. On the left, it's a little bit small, the PowerPoint. On the left, those are mortgage documents, like deadline, resheet, uh, from lenders, wholesale lenders or investors. So mortgage investors, like loan officer, or processor, or underwriter, they use those documents to qualify a customer and determine if someone can buy the loan or not. If someone can buy the loan, what's their interest rate and what's their closing cost? In today's market, all those files are still saving in the PDF, HTML, or Excel format. Very bad, very hard for loan officer underwriters to read and learn. We train machine learning models to make the machine to automatically learn, read, and understanding all the information and transfer the, the, the paper, data, PDF into a database format. The challenge here is there's so many information, so many different layouts. We want to take all the information out, but at the same time, we need to keep the relationship together for the mortgage information. We use vision-based object detection to let machine to learn to parse the document into a table, paragraph, sentence, or list. And for different category of the content, we use different algorithms to take the value out. For sentence and paragraph, we use domain-focused natural language processing, let the machine to understand what's the meaning behind all those words. We check their semantics, we check their grammar, we check their uh, objective, we check their verb. And we also analyze their dependency. We analyze their lemma. We analyze their, uh, this one, okay. Here's an example. For this sentence, maximum 80%, I don't know if you guys can see this, a little bit small. Maximum 80% for properties in Wyoming and North Dakota. When machine read this sentence, they read the content in there. They will identify, oh, there's two different type of entities in this uh, sentence. There's a number, there's a percentage, and also there's two geopolitical entities. The machine will process all the data into the key value pair process. If I'm a borrower, I want to buy a house in one of the states, used as my primary residence. The machine will understand my request and automatically set my LTV maximum to 80%. The LTV means loan to value ratio. If my LTV is, all, is over the 80%, the machine was telling me, hey, Bocha, you're not qualified for this loan. So it's no longer a loan officer making a decision. It's a machine making the decision. Uh, in general, we can utilize machine learning technologies to transfer all the data information from the paper format into the database. And the data is a fuel to empower more analytics and workflow automation. At this moment, our system keeps tracking and analyzing hundreds of U.S. mortgage investors' data. We know how they design their product, we know how they price their product, and we know what their customers look like. 
there used to be an utter lack of transparency in the mortgage industry. No one knows what's going on, no one can get a quote easily. But we use technology, digital technology, to make this industry fully transparent. Use case two. Uh, besides generating data by ourselves, we also purchase data from different data providers, personal data, consumer data, and uh, geographic property data. In Santa Clara County, where we are now, there's roughly 1.9 million consumers. And for every consumer, we have roughly 3,000 data points on everyone. And we buy this data, aggregate together into a master database for further analysis. So for people, everyone here, we know if you're a homeowner or if you are living apartment. If you have mortgage, we know, we know your remaining balance, we know interest rate, and we know, your, we know your estimated household income. And we also have our location data for everyone in the Bay Area who have visited open house in the past three days. We have this shown in our database. And we can analyze more by analyzing their geographic data, their age, their uh, ethnicity, their behavior, and we can pull together those different people and for programmatic and predictive marketing purpose. So now, we have the data on the first. We have the customer trying the system and the mortgage origination will start. In mortgage industry or mortgage broker company, mortgage lender company, the user experience or customer experience is a key differentiator to win more customers. So we work with FinTech company, software company, and digital service provider to design a digital first origination process. The first step, Today, when you apply for a mortgage, your loan officer may contact you, asking you to upload a list, a set list of documents. What's happening is, there's so many different mortgage products, and, there's, and each customer, they have a different background, they have a different scenario. It's nearly impossible for a loan officer or a processor to hard remember all the requirements and give the customer the correct list of the documents. So what's always happening is the customer or the borrower providing excessive documents, unnecessary documents. And because of those unnecessary documents, that's trigger more conditions, give more feedbacks, and sometimes they cannot even close the loan. So this problem can be perfectly solved by machine. The machine can understand all the requirements from different products based on the customer information, the customer scenario, the machine can send out the exact site of the information the customer need to provide it. And when the customer, or like a borrower, import or upload their document to the system, or we do the financial service provider, get the W2 or 1099, the system will start automatically analyzing, processing, and verify the documents for the borrower. Today, people doing that manually, that's the loan processor and other writers work. So there's hundreds of documents, uh, hundreds of pages on a bank statement, and takes about four to six hours at least for one loan. And machine can do this automatically, instantly, and remove all the human error. Financial review is also one of the most critical part during the mortgage origination or mortgage uh, production. Lenders or mortgage investors or mortgage loan officers, they need to gain a full picture, a comprehensive understanding about the borrower's background, liability, including their mortgage, car loan, student loan, and other instruments and liability collections. So the machine can automatically start pulling data from the three credit bureau and also pulling data from the some financial service provider, such as UCS or PLAN. And uh, not only uh, this video is a little bit long, sorry. It will show soon. So not only calculate, not only pulling the data, but also calculating the results. We provided the lenders, brokers, loan officers 
not only the results, but also a very detailed step about how we landed on this calculation, step by step, each one by one. Uh, we just get started. I started a company about almost three years ago. At this moment, we pretty much automate 85% of our loan office work, the process work, and administrators work. But there's still a long way ahead. There's still underwriters, there's still processors, and there's still secondary market coordinators. And also, the securitization process is still dominated and controlled by the financial institution. How I see the future in the next five years or 10 years, there's uh, the mortgage industry will achieve end-to-end -end automation. There's unavailable, and eventually for everyone, you can get a mortgage just like a few clicks away. Uh, the solution for the mortgage market, we see there are many software companies providing softwares. But what I believe is the solution is not to make the horse run faster. It's not building softwares to make those processor or underwriter work more efficient. The solution is to build a machine to replace the model. And that's our goal. We won't stop until we make it. Thank you.